welcome, come on in. I am doing a pattern review on the Laurel dress by Little Lizard King. It's a PDF dress pattern, and if you haven't sewn with PDF, don't go anywhere because I think you're gonna love this dress. This right here is a picture of the one that I made for my daughter, and I made that same exact style in a, a women's version, in my version. And so I made it with polka dot. So I am gonna try it on for you, but first I wanna go over like all the little details and just do an overall pattern review. So stick around to the end, I'm gonna try it on, and I'm also gonna share with you like a lot of fun photos towards the end. So this one actually has a lot of variations when you buy the pattern. And by the way, this is a free pattern if you join the Little Lizard King Facebook group. But you can see here is the front and the back. You have the butterfly sleeve, or I guess, you know, the flutter sleeve. And then you can do a fake placket down the front. It can just be a simple skirt. You can also do a three-tiered skirt. I mean, I guess you can do that with any dress. And then you can do the placket just halfway, um, you can do a regular sleeve, you can make it into a tank top, or you can do a long sleeve. Oh, and I guess it's called a gathered flounce, flounce is the short sleeve that you can do. Okay, and then the measurements, like the bus size measurements on this goes from a 31 and a half inches to 59 inches. And so my bust is a 40 inch, so I went with a size 14 which is a bust of a 42. I also, I feel like I could even do like a 16, although that might not work up here. I don't know. Okay, so I did a size 14. And then since this is a PDF pattern, it's an instant download and it will go through and it'll give you like detailed instructions on how to grade different sizes and mix different sizes and just really good thorough instructions on how to make the dress. So were the instructions easy to follow? I feel like the instructions were very easy to follow. One thing, if you've already bought this pattern, you'll wanna make sure that you label the straps. Okay, so for example, you got one piece right here, one piece right there, you got pieces for the lining, and the bodice is fully lined. Oh, let me turn it around this way. So here is the bodice right here. It's fully lined, and so you wanna make sure you know which, and so I used a different fabric for my lining so I didn't get like messed up and turned around backwards and inside out. And then you've got four different pieces for the strap and then four different pieces for the strap lining. And so that part can get confusing, but they show you how to go in and label e your actual fabric so that you don't end up sewing something like upside down or inside out or backwards. And so here is the flutter sleeve. I don't know yet what um, finish I should do with the sleeve because I tried my rolled hem and if I, still have that piece of fabric, I'll show you. So I generally use my rolled hem foot to finish the bottom of, well, woven fabrics for sure, but um, it's a hit and miss with knit fabrics if I'm gonna use my rolled hem foot. And so I tried it on this one, and what ended up happening is the bottom started curling up. And so, but now it looks okay. See, here's the back. And so I thought, well, that's not going to be the best finish, especially when it's up here. I think I'm just going to end up surging it and then folding it under like I did down here. So down here, I surged the bottom and then I flipped it over and I just hemmed it on my sewing machine and because I don't have a cover stitch machine and then it lays really nice right there on the bottom. Okay, a couple other details. I showed you guys last week how I put the clear elastic in there and this one also have has pockets. So I did add some clear elastic to the waistband and so that's what it looks like in here. You might be able to see the slight shimmer, you can barely see it. And so that makes it lie flat. Another alteration that I did is I added clear elastic. I don't have a picture of this, but I added clear elastic right in here on the front square neckline 
so that it doesn't uh, scoop down and just kind of gives it a little bit more structure. So that was another alteration I did. And then another thing that I did is I added pockets to mine. And pockets are so easy to add to any skirt. This pattern does not include pockets. I'm looking at it, I don't see that it includes pockets in the pattern, but I do have a video that shows you how easy it is to just, in. I mean, all you need is your hand, trace your hand, and that's your pocket template. And I have a video on that one as well. And I gathered this using my serger, and so I do have a video on that as well. It comes along really quickly. I didn't add any tears to this because I figured the polka dots was kind of a busy pattern that um, I just left it the one length. And so let me go ahead and try this on for you and then I'll tell you like where I got the fabric and everything like that. Okay, you guys, here it is. So what do you think? I am in love with the square neckline. Um, I don't even know what to say. I love the flouncy sleeves. I feel like it hides anything that you might have that you might hate that is in here, in this area. And so um, I feel like the gathers came out, oh, but the polka dots are Oh, the polka dots are not straight, but I mean, what can you do? I might need to add a belt right there. And then here is the back. And again, I made a size 14. Let me show you. There are some pictures right there. And so the fabric that I used, it's a polka dot. Um, I don't, it's not a double brush poly. It's got a really nice stretch to it. I think it's a DTY. I bought it off of Amazon. This fabric is actually in my Amazon shop if you wanna get some yourself. They have it in different colors. So I think it comes from like fabric.com, but you can get it on uh, Amazon. And so it's not, um, so it, you'll, you'll get it at a good price. I think it's like $6 a yard or something like that. Okay, so would I make this pattern again? Yes, you guys, it's like the fit, I just can't, you can't compare the fit to anything else. And it's free, <laughs> it's free. And then again, like all the, as far as like the alterations, I did add clear elastic right in here. And then I did the clear elastic right down here to keep it really stable. But the flouse sleeves I think are very flattering, especially for us that don't like our arms. This is perfect and I just love it for summer. And did I already tell you how much I love the square neckline? So definitely I would make it again. I think it looks like the drawing on the models. And then stay tuned, I do have some really fun pictures. So I would definitely recommend this PDF pattern to you, especially if you are a beginner sewer, because the instructions that they include on it is just very precise and clear. Also, you guys, I have some fun photos right here that I want you to see as well. that if you're not gathering, if you have a serger and you're not gathering with your serger, check out this video right here. That is gonna help you so much in saving time with the gathers. And then also I have this video that shows you a little bit more detail of how I put the gathers, gathers together on this dress specifically. So I do wanna thank you for watching and until next time, happy sewing. Bye guys.